Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. Today I'll guide you on how to use Google Sheets in automations. Let's get started. First off, setting up your Google Sheets integration. If you haven't set up your Google Sheets integration yet, here are three easy ways to do it. Number one, Workspace Preferences. Go to Integrations in Workspace Preferences. Here, you can select Google Sheets, sign into your Google account, and grant access to Texo. The second way is through Workflows. Here, you can search Google Sheets under Integrations. Here it is. You can add one of the notes, for example, the first one. And once you double click on it, you will be prompted to select your account. Or if you haven't added your account, you will be prompted to sign in with Google. Then follow the same steps. And the third way is through the automation store. So go to the automation store select your automation, select the Google Sheets for your input, and you will see a button here to sign into your Google account over here. Then you follow the same steps as already described. Once you have set up your Google account integration, we can proceed with the automation. Setting up the automation. I have set up a sample sheet with um, LinkedIn profile URLs to scrape the profile with the script profile scraper automation. It's over here. One thing that I would like to mention that is very important um when you are formatting your google sheet is to ensure that each column has a header this allows the um, integration to map each column correctly to the specific automation fields for example in this spreadsheet you will see that i have p urls as my column header that will allow me to see that uh, while i'm mapping the fields and set up the automation correctly For the purpose of this demonstration, I would select the Profile Scraper Automation. Now, a very important step is to select the Google Sheets. and then choose your Google account. You can select your spreadsheet first. When you have connected your Google account, you would be able to see all of the sheets that are available under that account. So in this case, we will select test inputs. We will wait for them to populate. Next, if our spreadsheet contains more than one sheets, we can select which sheet we want to use. So in this case, I believe it is just one sheet. So we will select that over here, sheet one. Now you can map the automation field to Now you can map the automation field to the headers from your Google Sheet. In this case, it's the profile URL. 
or P URLs in this case. And then we can go ahead and run the automation. One thing that I want to explain as well is the loop mode. It's important to mention that because this mode allows you to run the automation continuously. After your entire sheet has been processed, the automation will then restart and run continuously. Another thing that I would like to mention is the automation limits. Always keep in mind your limit for automations. For example, if your daily limit is 50 and your Google Sheet has 100 rows, the automation will stop when the limit is reached and continue the next day when the limit is renewed. This means that one automation can take more than one day to complete and will have multiple executions. In this case, I select not to, I choose not to use the loop mode. And we can see that our automation is now running. I would like to explain to you as well about stopping the automation. Once your automation starts running, you will see a stop button over here. This stops future executions. If you want to stop only the current execution, you can use the small X button under status here, and that will stop your existing execution, the current execution. And that is it. Everything that you need to know about using Google Sheets in automations with Texo. Explore these options and see how they can help you enhance your workflow. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.